The Williams School in New London, preparing scholars, athletes, artists, and global citizens for college and lifelong learning since 1891. Visit our website for open house dates, williamsschool.org. The Williams School, grades 7 through 12, belong. I'm always nervous before each game. I don't care who we play. But we've been pretty, pretty lucky. So far, every first inning we've scored a run. So we've always been ahead. So that kind of settles the nerves a little bit. Not only mine, but the kids. They relax a little bit more. East Lyme continued their trend of scoring early, getting ahead of Bacon on Samantha Horner's first inning single on Wednesday in Colchester. But despite the Vikings' eight-run performance at the plate, the story of the game was pitching and defense. East Lyme pitcher Erica Hill took a perfect game into the final inning but not without some early help from our outfielders. We all love each other, we all love playing, and it feels really good to pitch and know that they have my back out there. In the top of the third, Vikings leadoff hitter Madison Horner took advantage of the deep outfields of Bacon Academy, hitting the ball over the head of right fielder Caitlin Farrell. Horner was already rounding second when Farrell picked up the ball and easily reached third with a stand-up triple. With Kaylee Crosby at the plate, coach Judy Deeb put on the squeeze. The throw looked like it might be in time, but catcher Megan Marvin couldn't hold on to the ball. Then an error on Morgan Lloyd's pop fly allowed Crosby to score from third to make the score 3-0. And Sarah Bond's bloop single drove in Lloyd, making it 4-0 after three. Hill continued to dominate from the mound, striking out Alyssa Howard to end the fourth. Um, my rise ball was working good. I got a lot of girls on that. and. Just the fastball outside. She's pitching instead of just throwing. Yeah. And she's hitting her locations, and uh, the ball is moving. And she's just, she was always a smart pitcher, but she's smarter now. Her strikeout of Liz Kowalski to end the sixth brought her total to nine, with no runners reaching base going into the final inning. Nobody said anything. We haven't said anything. No, we can't. It's, it's an unwritten rule. We can't say that. But before Hill got to return in the seventh, the Vikings added to their lead. Kaylee Crosby's grounder drove in Shea Crosby. Then Lloyd's sacrifice fly turned into two runs when center fielder Ali Lindsay's throw to the plate was offline. The lead grew to 8-0 when Bonds hit a short pop-up that was dropped by Marvin, allowing Samantha Horner to score from third. Hill returned in the bottom of the inning with a chance to complete the perfect game. Well, when I pitch, I kind of have tunnel vision to the catcher's yeah. glove. Like, I don't know what's going on. So I didn't even know I had a perfect game. I didn't know what was going on. I just went out there and did my job. With one out, Bacon's Kristen Delzo worked a full count. Hill's pitch was called ball four, allowing Bacon's first base runner of the game. After a pair of singles loaded the bases, Bianca Murray grounded to second to end the game. The Vikings will host SMSA on Saturday before meeting ECC rival Waterford on Monday.